the day that you get a call from your kid at school saying, Mom, I can't breathe. Halfway through junior year, I broke down. All amounted uh, sophomore year. And now senior year, I was a complete mess. Still stressed out, out of my mind. Just getting overwhelmed by everything. We got to the point where I couldn't go to school without feeling anxious. I like always strive for perfection. I guess that caught up to me. I got in this dark place that took me a very, very long time to get out. It made me get down to myself in a lot of aspects of life. Sometimes I just get so stressed out I can't even think and I can't even do anything. And then it just stresses me out more. It's kind of like this big snowball of bad things. Something's wrong with a system that makes this the norm. I think that stress has become popularized or the go-getting, get it done, you know, top achiever, um, take on as much as possible to get on their resume um, to get into the college has been um, the norm and I don't think it's normal, I think it's gotten excessive. The bar has been raised over the decades, and um, the sacrifice is lack of sleep. It's an epidemic in our society. I think it's an epidemic in our school. And the trade-off and um, sacrifice are students who are not um, fully functional. Um, academically, their brains, their bodies are not performing in school and in sports um, and in life. It, it's affecting the ability to learn. How can you concentrate when you're exhausted and anxious? The night before a big test or the night before an essay was due, I'd stay up until 3 a.m. in the morning and wake up at 5 to finish. I'd be going to school with two hours of sleep, feeling completely un unprepared and expecting to do well. When I try to write, I can't write, I don't know what to say. And like my mind just doesn't really process things as well. And I, have I can't get anything done because I'm so overwhelmed. And so filled with stress that like I, can't, I don't even have room for creativity anymore. Like I don't have room to like think on my own and like be able to like come up with stuff to do. I can't get any work done because I'm just thinking about everything I have to do. And by the end of the term, by the final, the reason why we have to study so hard is because we just memorize it and forget it two weeks later. And so, and so sometimes to, to get the results, because you don't have time to memorize all this stuff, you cheat. And uh, I, I, I try to do my hardest, but I have cheated before, only because I, uh, a very serious uh, family health problem came up. So I had to step in and do all the work around the house when, and because I had to do that, I uh, do my homework, so I just had to achieve and try to get, get away with it, I couldn't, but at the same time, I, I had to tell them, like, listen, I have a serious problem, I can't do homework, and they, uh, luckily the teacher understood, 
but at the same time, my grades still kept going down and that doesn't look good. I began high school as the kind of student who knew they had to work hard to achieve good grades and the kind of student who believes good grades was the only thing that mattered. I feel like the college board isn't going to hear. Uh, isn't isn't going to ask me why I got a C in my classes instead of getting a B. They, they really don't care. They, they say it's up to you. So it's, it's also like the, the stress of like college and everything. It's just like making yourself look good. Academic stress for a lot of students, obviously. Um, tremendous amounts of homework. Hours and hours after school and on the weekends doing homework, even during holidays, um, vacations. Um, worrying about grades, worrying about college, especially with juniors and seniors. Uh, I think homework is the main cause really? Really? for me. Yeah. 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 don't have time to do homework and then when I do it I get stressed out because it's not like adequate enough. I think that the homework situation, um, you know, stories from all the kids of how they would spend hours and be up at two o'clock in the morning and then the homework wouldn't even be looked at or um, considered. Don't think that they're learning anything from it. It's just something they have to get through. It isn't a very effective way of teaching somebody subject matter. I always thought I, all I needed to do was work hard, keep my head down, get my work done, and I would be fine. I didn't like the way stress made me as a person. I would be irritable, I would snap at my family, I would cry at the drop of a hat. I, my entire emotion, emotional state was completely affected by stress. I was unable to be the person I wanted to be because stress was holding me back and anxiety was making me feel like someone I'm not. When I'm stressed out, I feel very isolated. I feel overwhelmed and it, it's just very, like, shocking. Whenever I'm stressed, I get really, really mean. People don't like being around me because I just, like, insult everyone. And when I'm stressed out, I usually just kind of shut down. It changes my behavior and attitude. This makes me feel like my whole world's basically falling apart. I normally... Uh, just kind of shut it down and... and it just takes over me. Like emotionally, stress just makes me crazy. It <laughs> just makes me want to like, yeah, break stuff. struggling and you give up and you're and you resort to, to negative um, actions to counter your feelings about that stress and obviously it's not good. Um,